The art bring joy, inspiration, well-being, understanding, even salvation. And while these experiences may not be easy to explain, you've always known they're real and true. But we now have scientific proof that the arts are essential to our very survival. We know how art in its countless forms heals our bodies and minds. We've got the evidence for how the arts and enhance our lives and build community. We know too how the aesthetic experiences that make up uh, every moment alter our basic biology. Advances in technology allow us to study human philosophy like never before. And the growing community of uh, multidisciplinary uh, investigators is researching how the arts and aesthetics affect us, giving rise to a field that is radically changing how we understand and translate the power of the arts. It's called neuroesthetics, or more broadly, narrow arts. In short, the arts and aesthetics change us, and as a result, they can transform our lives. Uh, this book, many of us tend to think that the arts is either entertainment or as an escape, a luxury of some kind. But what it is really, arts are so much more. They can be used to uh, fundamentally change your day-to-day -day life. They can help address serious physical and uh, uh, mental health issues with uh, remarkable results. And they can both help you learn and flourish. At a home in upstate New York, a man with advanced Alzheimer disease recognized his son for the first time in five years after he hears a curated playlist of songs from his past. Around the world, healthcare workers are pres prescribing using these. Digital designers are working with cognitive neuroscientists to find a new treatment for attention disorder and to enhance brain health overall. There is a virtual reality program that elevates pain, that alleviates pain. And because research shows that sensory rich environments help us learn faster and retain information better. Many schools, workplaces, and public spaces are being reimagined and redesigned, all because of advances in neuroesthetics. In the same way that the formal creation of the neuroscience discipline in the late 20th century has fueled a revolution in our understanding of the brain. The formation of the field of neuro arts is building an important body of evidence about our brains on art and there is so much more to come artist nomar galinsky's work entitled uh, spiral cluster at the beginning of this introduction represents the dynamic relationship between the arts and sciences discoveries and findings about human biology will continue to give rise to arts-based personalized prevention and wellness programs, increasingly becoming part of mainstream healthcare and public health as clini clinicians and insurers are convinced by the mounting evidence that the arts really do help us heal and thrive. Simple, quick, accessible acts of art can enhance your life. Already we see a rise in microdosing of aesthetics as people use specific scents to relieve nausea, calibrate light sources to adjust energy levels, and use specific tones of sound to alleviate anxiety. In the same way, you might ex exercise to lower cholesterol and increase serotonin in the brain. Just 20 minutes of uh, doodling or uh, humming can provide immediate support for your physical and uh, mental state. In fact, so many studies have shown uh, the shift psychological benefits, the swift psychological benefits to our health from the arts and aesthetics that we debated calling 20 minutes of art that everybody needs.